May we have the first question from the ladies section? Assalamu alaikum. I am Kausar Sheikh, a product of Darul Quran, Kuwait. Presently, I am teaching Arabic in Anushakti Nagar. My question is it is mentioned in the Quran that one day in the sight of Allah is equal to a thousand years. And in another place, it is mentioned that one day is equal to 50,000 years. Isn't the Quran contradicting itself? Please explain. The sister asked the question that it's mentioned in the Quran in certain place that one day in the sight of Allah is equal to a thousand years. And somewhere else is mentioned that one day in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is equal to 50,000 years. Isn't this a contradiction? What the sister was referring to is the verse of the Holy Quran from Surah Al Hajj, chapter 22, verse number 47, as well as Surah Sajda, chapter 32, verse number 5, which does say that one day in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is equal to a thousand years. And in Surah Marij, chapter 70, verse number 4, it says that one day in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is equal to a 50,000 years of your reckoning. Doesn't it seem to be a contradiction? Sister, what these verses in the Holy Quran are referring to, it is giving an indication that time in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is incomparable to the earthly time. The earthly time, whether it's a thousand years, or whether it's 50,000 years, or whether it's thousands of years, it's somewhat equal to one day in the sight of Allah, or maybe one second in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's just giving you a reference that time in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is incomparable to the earthly time. But even if you want to take these verses literally, still there's an explanation for that. The Arabic word used in these verses is yom. It has got two different meanings. It can either be translated as day or as period or as epoch, very long period. So if you read this verse of Surah Sajda, chapter 32, verse number 5, it says, it is Allah who rules the affairs from the heavens to the earth. And all these go up to him on a day, which is equal to a thousand years of reckoning. If you translate the word correctly, yom, as period, it will read that Allah rules all the affairs from the heavens to the earth, and all of them go unto him in a period which is equal to a thousand years of your reckoning. Surah Marik chapter 70, verse number 4 reads that the spirits and the angels, they ascend unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a day which is equal to 50,000 years of your reckoning. If you translate it correctly, yom as period, it will read that the spirits and the angels ascend unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a period equal to 50,000 years. The Quran is referring to two different periods. Therefore, there's no contradiction. For example, if I say, I will take one hour to reach Washi. I will take a period of one hour to reach Washi. And then say, I will take a period of 50 hours to reach Srinagar, to reach Kashmir. It's not contradicting because both are different periods. So one place Quran says the period required for all the spirits and the angels to go up unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is equal to 50,000 years of your reckoning. And the other place says the period required for all the affairs to go unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 1,000 years. There's no contradiction in that. I hope that answers the question.